In Air Mayofsky now, and you know, we know these conditions aren't going away anytime soon, and you've got a couple flood warnings. Yeah, Jamie and David and everyone, hello to you tonight. There's so much going on, but we'll walk you through this. This is what we're talking about for our flood warnings for those rivers where our own AJ was just a few minutes ago. And as we look at them, several, about half a dozen to even more pushing through, and we're watching those. That will be in effect for some major flooding predicted to reach above flood stage. Now, we also have a flood watch, which is one level down, and that's why we have our alert as well for most of Western Washington. In effect, we're already starting to see the effects of the heavy rain that's pushed through. We're seeing some streams and creeks overflow and spill over their banks. One is the Issaquah Creek and the river in downtown Issaquah. This is in Thurston County, Rochester. Thank you to Aaron Norquist for sending this in. We're seeing not only uh, the flooding with the rivers, but we're seeing some landslides as well. We've got the snow melt and the heavy rain, the warmer temperatures and the rising snow levels through tonight is going to keep us in that zone where we're really watching the activity of that heavy rain coming down. And you can see with the warmer temperatures, this warm front stalled out over us throughout much of the day, producing heavy downpours at times. Our rain rate totals pretty good, especially in the areas that are in the orange and yellows as we watch those. As we zoom into the central sound area, Brennan, you're getting a good bullseye there right now. And up over the passes, which are closed, it's a tough go of it for sure. So we are going to keep you posted on that as well. We're going to keep that weather alert up through Friday and possibly even into Saturday because of that lowland flooding, the breezy, gusty winds that we haven't got to and talked about. We'll talk about the coast and the north sound as well coming up. Temperatures staying in the low to mid 40s, starting to dry out as we get towards Sunday. I'll have the extended forecast coming your way in just a few minutes. Aaron, thank